Back in 2018, Dwayne Johnson became the highest paid actor Forbes had ever recorded by raking in $124 million in one year. His net worth as of 2020 is about $220 million, and he makes about $20 million per movie. So it's no wonder the former wrestler turned actor is spending big bucks on luxurious living all over the U.S. And it's more than that. The Rock buys homes just to sell them, and he's lived in some incredible places over the years. So here's a look at the superstar's empire and how The Rock is on his way to turning millions into billions. Let's do this. What you might not know about The Rock is that he loves horses just about as much as he loves working out and driving fast cars. His most recent real estate purchase is this gorgeous ranch in Powder Springs, Georgia, and it only cost him $9.5 million. TMZ reports he even paid the full price in cash. This French country manor comes with 46 acres of land, a horse riding arena, 12 stall barn, and even its own restored farmhouse that dates back to 1867. It's surrounded by rolling hills and lush fields and has enough privacy for the Rock and his entire family, which includes his wife and three daughters, to just get away from the lights and cameras for a little while. The inside of the main house has eight spacious bedrooms and six spacious bathrooms, with three extra half baths thrown in for good measure. The mansion is the perfect example of luxurious, rustic living, complete with stone fireplaces and lots of natural colors. It has multiple lounges, a cozy library, and a music room with a gorgeous grand piano that we'd love to see the Hobbs and Shaw star play. Through the French doors in the back, Johnson can step out into the gorgeous pool area, complete with jacuzzi and an outdoor dining area. There's even an outdoor living room with, you guessed it, another fireplace. But this Georgia farm isn't The Rock's first rodeo. He already has a secret Virginia farm of unknown price, where he also keeps horses and has private hiking trails. Olympic equestrian Will Coleman even trains thoroughbreds on the actor's property. In early 2019, Johnson posted a photo of himself with two of his horses on this secret Virginian property with a message that read, The great state of Virginia has quietly become my home. The Rock isn't just a quiet country guy. He has houses all over, and one of his favorite places to live happens to be in Florida. He's had about 10 homes in the state over the years, most ranging between one and three million dollars. But in 2012, he bought his five-bedroom, seven-bathroom mansion in Southwest Ranches for 3.4 million. The 13,000-square-foot Florida mansion has lots of bonuses to help the Johnsons pass their time, including a home theater and large swimming pool with a jacuzzi. It also has an office, huge master bathroom, and sitting rooms that look like they were designed for royalty. Rumor has it that the home also has its own personal barber shop so that The Rock really never has to leave. But we did say Johnson loves to buy, renovate, and sell, right? He sold the house only a year later for $3 million, but only after adding a million dollars worth of renovations to the property, including a professional at-home gym and a private house for his trainer to stay. Another Florida home owned by Johnson cost him about $4.5 million, and it's also technically a ranch. We're sensing a theme here. Johnson bought this home while it was still in development. It has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, two three-car garages, and a full outdoor kitchen so the Johnsons can enjoy family cookouts. The home is also completely gated for privacy. And like his other ranches, this home is rustic and natural, with lots of spacious rooms and high ceilings. But like any celebrity, The Rock also needs a place to stay when he's working in Hollywood. That's why he bought this $5 million Hidden Hills home. It has an elaborate outdoor space perfect for parties, as well as The Rock's signature professional gym that he once again installed himself. We had no idea it was so hard to find a luxury home with a good professional gym. The Hidden Hills estate is probably the most lavish of The Rock's homes. This is what you think of when it comes to celebrity mansions. Complete with high ceilings and white pillars, the home boasts a giant master bedroom suite with a huge bathroom. There's spacious garages for the Fast and Furious star's many cars, which we'll talk about in detail a little more later. And another cookout area in the back, since The Rock seems to like cooking outside way more than cooking inside. Of course, we can't forget the pool, a key feature on all of The Rock's properties. This one is right outside his back door and also comes with a jacuzzi. Another of the mansion's highlights is the spacious home theater, which even looks like a souped-up version of a classic cinema. The Rock ended up selling this mansion in 2012 for the same price that he paid for it. But reports say that he has a villa somewhere else in California and a couple of condos, in case the bright lights of Hollywood summon him to get to work. Even overseas, The Rock makes sure he lives in luxury. 
He lived in this London home when filming Hobbs and Shaw and had a huge pop-up gym that he calls the Iron Paradise installed on the property. He's also brought the Iron Paradise to other locations, like Vancouver, where he filmed himself appreciating the view of the city from a luxury apartment. The London mansion came with nine bedrooms, a cinema, two swimming pools, another home theater, and even a celebrity horse that Johnson posted a photo of himself riding. His name is Rusty, and he has starred in both Gladiator and Robin Hood. The Rock is just loaded with success successful friends, isn't he? The pools, one inside and one outside, and the tennis court on the property helped The Rock stay fit. But that wasn't enough for the superstar. His Iron Paradise gym was placed in the back of the property in the sprawling gardens. It houses 40,000 pounds of professional equipment and is conveniently located for The Rock to easily get to his early morning workout, which is at 5 a.m. every day. So, while these homes may look like places for the actor to rest and unwind, he's proven that a practical home is way more important to him than one that's just nice to look at. In total, The Rock has put about $100 million of his fortune into property. But of course, not all his money goes to real estate. He spends lots of it decking out the houses, including filling the driveways and garages with fancy cars. You might remember when Johnson showed up to the premiere of Ballers in a custom-made Pagani Huayra. The regular Pagani clocks in at around a million dollars, and only 100 exist on the entire planet. Talk about making a fashionable entrance. The actor also owns a lot of personal luxury vehicles, including a two-door Rolls-Royce Wraith, which retails for almost $400,000. And while filming Pain and Gain, The Rock was spotted cruising around in a purple metallic Plymouth Prowler. The cool car costs about $38,000 and looks like one of the funnest vehicles you could ever drive. Johnson also briefly owned a matte white LeFerrari, that he received a complimentary lease on, but soon found out that he couldn't actually fit inside the car. It's a shame, considering that the retail price for this beauty is about $2 million. The Rock's favorite vehicle actually isn't a luxury car at all, but a pretty normal truck. An F-150 custom-built pickup, to be precise. We're guessing it's because he doesn't have any trouble fitting inside this massive vehicle. The truck only costs about $35,000, but The Rock definitely spent a few thousand more for modifications. But when it comes time for international travel, the superstar gets from place to place in a fancy Gulfstream G650 plane. Just gave me chills, Joe. He can often be seen bringing his family along for trips on the aircraft. One of these bad boys can cost up to $65 million, but it's unclear whether Johnson owns the plane or just rents it. When it comes to enjoying his money, The Rock also has a thing for Rolexes. He bought his very first one when he was still a wrestler, and it cost him $35,000. Since then, he's built quite the collection of luxury watches. However, The Rock might actually spend more money on food than on accessories. Pancakes are a particular favorite of the star. Rock pancake. World famous. They are world famous rock pancakes. Who frequently participates in carb up nights, where he eats as much as possible to help him gain weight. To stay in tip top shape, Johnson also spends money on several personal trainers. As of 2016, one of them was Aaron Williamson. His programs range from $100 to $250 per month, which is probably a steal for the actor. Dwayne Johnson might make a cool 20 mil per movie and $700,000 per episode of HBO's Ballers, but he has multiple other ventures that help him afford his luxury lifestyle. He's been running Seven Bucks Productions with his ex-wife Danny Garcia since 2012. Through it, they've produced movies and television like Ballers and Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. The company is named Seven Bucks because after flying from Canada to Miami when his football career ended, Johnson emptied his pockets and found just $7 to his name. I literally have seven bucks in my pocket, and I got nothing, nothing else. Since he's known for spending tons of time at the gym, Johnson also has a successful Under Armour line called Project Rock that sells clothing, shoes, and headphones. It's estimated that he earns seven figures in royalties annually for his various forms of apparel. But one of our favorite things about the former wrestler is how darn nice he is. And he definitely puts his money where his mouth is. In 2006, he founded the Dwayne Johnson Rock Foundation, a charity which works with terminally ill children. He's visited a lot of sick kids throughout his career. He also takes really good care of his family. He bought his father a big house and says he also buys him tons of trucks. So Johnson isn't just using his money to make his family's life better, he's also making the world a better place. And honestly, we wouldn't want to imagine a world without Dwayne Johnson in it. Thank you so much. So which of The Rock's many mansions is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to The Richest for more cool content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.